Hey guys, this is Charles Jager with Shutterstock, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how we can easily change the color of elements in our footage using Premiere Pro. So we're gonna look at how to use three different effects in Premiere Pro that will allow us to change the color of objects in our scene or completely change the entire color scheme of our footage. This can be really beneficial for something like stock footage where you might find the perfect clip but the colors of it don't really fit your project. And if you're a beginner, don't worry because we're gonna walk through this step by step. So let's go ahead and jump over to Premiere Pro. All right guys, for this first tip, I wanna show you how we can change the entire color scheme of our footage. And you can see I've got this looping background here. You can see it's a nice graphic. And let's say I wanted to use this maybe as the background for an event that I'm working on. And the only issue is I found this perfect stock footage clip here but the color scheme doesn't really match the event. Maybe it's more warmer color tones or just different than this purple and blue. So it'd be really beneficial if we could just change this around so it kind of adapts for our project. And we can do this actually really easily using the effect Lumetri Color, which will shift around all the color tones in this footage. So what I'm gonna do is with my clip over here in the timeline, we'll come over to Effects, and I'm just gonna search for Lumetri Color. And it's gonna be under Color Correction, so I'm just gonna drag and drop that onto my clip. And then in Effects Controls, we're gonna see the Lumetri Color Effect and just toggle down the curves options here. And I'm just gonna scroll down in this and we're gonna look for the hue and saturation curves. You'll see these kind of rainbow bars here. And if I scroll down here, you'll see there's quite a few. The one we're looking for should be the second one down. That's gonna be the hue versus hue. And if we actually just grab and move this bar around, it's gonna alter the color hues of everything on our footage. And you'll see what it does when I click and just drag this around. You can see all the color hues of our footage are changing. And so again, this allows us to really quickly and easily change kind of the appearance of our stock footage if we found a clip like this. So I can drag this down. You can see we're getting these nice warmer color tones here. And you can see how that works. And now this may be adapted perfectly for whatever project that we were wanting to use this for. Another example would be, let me go ahead and show you this other clip over here in the timeline. You can see it's kind of like a technology computer background here. And from default, the color portions of the video are blue. But again, we can do the same trick to this footage. So I'm gonna select the clip and I'll just drag and drop Lumetri Color onto it. And again, let's navigate up here to Curves and just come down here to Hue versus Hue. And we can just drag this around to quickly change the colors that are on that actual stock clip. So again, using Hue versus Hue and Lumetri Color is a nice way again to alter the entire color scheme of your footage. And it won't affect the black and the white areas of the video. All right, so let's take a look at another shot here. And in this one, we just wanna change one specific color. So you can see we have this coffee shot here. We have this blue cup. And let's say we wanna use this in a project for a coffee shop that we're working with, but unfortunately their colors are actually red, not blue. And we really like this shot, it's perfect for what we need, but again, it's the wrong colors. So in this particular case, what we're gonna first do is we're gonna come over here to the effects and we're gonna select the effect change to color. And you're gonna see that also under color correction. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that on my clip. And under the effects controls with the change to color effect, we'll have these options to change the color from and to. And so we can select the color picker here. And what we wanna do, you'll see on this mug, there's a couple things we can do. We can see we have a darker kind of blue area, mid-tones, and then the kind of highlights of the blue cup. We wanna select in the mid-tones because that's gonna give us a nice base range. But before you actually click, if you actually hold Control or Command on a Mac, you'll see it actually makes the color picker a little bigger. I'll zoom in there so you can see that. But you wanna be holding Control or Command whenever you click. And I'll do that now. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna actually sample more colors, kind of a range of that blue. And that just gives us a much better starting point. So now you can see immediately when I click that, it changed it to red. However, we have some artifacting issues happening here. We can see on the shirt back here and on the side of the cup where it should be white. And it really just doesn't look clean enough for us to use. So I can come over here and I can adjust the color hue. And you can see when I do that, it's working okay, but it's affecting some things like the skin tone and even kind of the white color of the cream here in the coffee. So I'm not really pleased with how that looks. So I wanna show you guys an extra tip here when actually you're using the change to color effect that should help you get better results. So I'm actually gonna turn off the change to color effect here. If we actually look at our footage initially, we'll notice, I can kind of tell this is being lit by kind of window daylight, which is naturally gonna be a little more blue. And we can kind of see that reflected here on the side of the cup. That's why that actually changed to be more of a red tone. So when we're changing this blue, it's kind of affecting that blue white balance temperature that's, that's on everything else in the scene. So for us, it's gonna be helpful to actually correct that first before we actually apply the change to color effect. So under the effects here, I'm gonna search again for Lumetri Color. 
and I'm gonna select Lumetri Color and I'm gonna drag it above the Change to Color effect here. You'll see how it has that blue bar right above the effect. And I'll let go. And now under Basic Correction, we're gonna see we have the option for this white balance temperature here. And I can drag this a little bit over to the right. And I'll add a little more warmth into the shot. And I think setting this on something kind of like 33 should be pretty good. Even if it's a little warmer, that's okay. We can adjust this later. But looking at this, it looks to be a little bit more of a balanced color temperature. And so let's drag this down a little bit and turn back on the change to color effect. And now when I do that, we'll see it's not affecting the side of the cup nearly as much. Now we are getting a little bit of noise back here on the t-shirt. If I turn this off, we'll see the shirt is also kind of a blue color as well. It's not nearly as saturated or prominent as the cup. But if we're gonna change the cup, we're probably gonna have to change the shirt too because it is blue unless we were gonna add a mask in here. But we're trying to keep this less complicated, so let's go ahead and just change them all. And I'll go ahead and check this back on. So again, what we would need to do to do that is adjust really the hue sliders, kind of the main one down here. You can see as I drag this down, so I'm just gonna drag this up a little bit. I'm gonna get in a range of about 40 or so. And I think that looks pretty good. If you're getting a little of harsh edges on anything, come down here to the softness, and you'll see it's default at 50. If we go ahead and increase this, that should smooth out things a little bit. You'll see it might desaturate some things. So you kind of want to play with this and kind of get it just so the settings that you think look correct for your particular shot. I think that looks pretty good there around 80. And then what's really cool here is if the color, let's say, wasn't red, we can go to two and I'll just select that. And you can see from default, it will be on red. We can change this to any other color here we want. So I can change this to green. Go ahead and click OK. And we can now see that's changed and even change this shirt there, but we can even see it change the reflection here. And again, if we want to change that to any other colors, we can just continue to do that. Let's say we want it maybe to be a darker blue and you can see how that'll update really quickly. So again, use Lumetri color in conjunction with the change to color effect to help you kind of refine it and get better results. All right guys, so the last effect I want to show you here is very similar to change to color, but it's actually just called leave color. And it's just going to leave one color in our scene, make everything else black and white. So you can see we have this shot of this cleanup crew and they have these very blue colored shirts. And if we want this to be kind of more like for a commercial or maybe a stylized documentary, we can apply this effect to this clip, which will kind of differentiate it a little bit more or maybe match the theme of whatever project we're working with. So let's go over to the effects and just search leave color. And I'm just gonna drag and drop that effect onto our clip. And you can see it's very similar to change to color in the sense of how the kind of the controls look. And we're gonna select this color to leave. So we'll select the color picker and again, Make sure you hold control or command as you click. It'll make that color picker a little bit bigger. So once I've clicked that, we'll notice nothing has really changed, but we need to go over to amount to decolor and we can increase this. And if I pull this all the way over to hundred percent, we'll see it's now everything's gone black and white except for those shirt colors. Now, unfortunately from the default, the effect isn't perfect. If I actually zoom this into hundred percent, we can kind of see some artifacting here on the edges of the shirt and the trash bags there. So we need to smooth this out and it's kind of a fine balancing act between tolerance and edge softness. So you can see when I increase the edge softness here, if I just pull this up, it starts to smooth everything out. If I increase it too much, it'll actually bring in the other colors from the scene, as you can see. So you want to balance this with the tolerance level. What I've found is actually interesting that you can try, you set the tolerance really low and then basically just use the edge softness kind of as your main adjustment. So I'm just gonna fit this back so we can see everything. You can see having the edge softness here be at around 13 or 15 for this shot. It seems to be working pretty well. You can see it's just leaving that blue color. And again, it's just a nice quick way you can create a stylized look and maybe add another dimension to some stock footage you're working with. Now kind of as a bonus, after you've applied the leave color effect and you've got it fine tuned, let's say you wanna change the color now. Well, that's really easy. Again, we can just come over here to Lumetri Color. And I'm just gonna apply that to our shot. If we come back down to the curves and then go back down here to hue versus hue, now because we only have one color in our scene, we can just drag and move this hue slider around and you'll see it's just changing the colors of the shirts in the shot. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, give us a like and make sure you check out all the other tutorials we have available on the Shutterstock channel. And if you have any tutorial requests, let us know in the comments. I'll catch you guys on the next one.